our businesses have now created 10.9 million jobs over the past 57 months in a row, and that's the longest streak of private sector job growth on record. All right, so he's happy, Wall Street is happy, and the president says businesses should be happy too. But do companies owe their success to the president or actually their own perseverance and cost cutting? Melissa Francis of our sister network, the Fox Business Network, says that businesses, well, they're the ones who should be patting themselves on the back because they did it. Um, but the president, being president, if he's going to take the rap for bad news, you can argue, okay, so well, I might yeah. as well run with the good. I absolutely, and he loves a good victory lap. I mean, I've never seen him pass one up, and this was a good jobs report. There's no two ways about it. 321,000, way more than what folks expected. What was driving it? Do we know? I mean, right? there, were, there were good jobs in manufacturing and construction. Yeah. It was across the board. The thing that worries me in there was wage growth. Over the past year, only 2.1%. That's pretty meager, so we're not seeing a lot of pricing power there for workers. But he's so arguing it sets the stage and maybe at maybe. a hit of this because this week he's been talking about, you know, you've done okay under my recovery here, guys. Right. Uh, so maybe that's setting the stage for readjusting overtime and some of the regulations he has coming I their guess, way. I guess, but I mean, this is, I always go back to the math. I mean, people can't do the math. If you pay workers more, then workplaces are either going to have them work less or they're going to raise prices. So either way, the people who should benefit are the ones that pay for it. Well, so, let me ask you this, because yeah. I, I talk to my contacts there, the gardener and the chef. And, yeah, uh, okay. They tell me, well, these guys in business who whine about this uh, recovery and how much we're, we're hurting them, mm -hmm. they're making money hand over fist. They're doing great. They can afford to cough up a little more, help their workers out, raise wages, do that. You say right. what? I say that if the labor market were tighter, that would be the case. I mean, the problem is there are so many people sitting on the sidelines who've given up looking for work that would come back out of the woodwork to get a job that, you know, they can afford to not pay as much because there are people that want to take the job. You know, I mean, if the labor market were really tight, they would be forced to. There's a restaurant out in California where they're trying to get folks to tip um, the cook staff because they have people who are leaving for higher paying jobs and they can't keep people there. So that person, that restaurant is seeing that they have to pay more to keep workers. Other places aren't seeing that. I mean, it's a market. When you have to pay more to keep workers, you will. When there are other people that are willing to do the job for that price, you don't. That's the market. That's so how it when works. they fiddle around with overtime rules and, you know, the salaried workers who yeah. get overtime and all that, um, what are they risking there, the administration? I, I mean, they're, they're risking people working less and being out of work, and they're risking higher prices. You know, I was at an event last night with 140 CEOs, and they're basically feeling like they're doing better in spite of the government, not because of it. I mean, they're talking about increased regulation, increased tax burden, health care costs. I mean, they, they were basically singing, I will survive. Do we have that? I mean, they were, they were sort of singing and dancing to themselves, I will survive. We do. This is it. That's this is me last TV. night. I mean, they were so, can you work with me, Neil. No, I don't. They were here doing I Will Survive because they've sort of survived that you're going to leave me I alone out here stop. dancing. I on want my own. you to stop the dancing. All right. Well, I, I like mean, the you, song. You are my boss, so I'll but stop. I'm not just, this I was did. the sentiment. This is the sentiment really? in America right now. Did it they is. play this song? Maybe, maybe really? not. I might just be drinking. trying to make tell the show me, more entertaining. You were drinking, I was not you? drinking. It was a weeknight. You know, I have stuff to do at home. I was not drinking. Whatever this is happens how CEOs at those in America CEO feel fest right now. stays at those CEO fest. It's true. They feel like they've made it on their own in spite of the government, and I don't blame them. All right. There well, you Melissa, go. Melissa, you're the best. Happy just Friday great to you. I'm doing my humor. best out here. Uh, you don't want to miss Melissa ever on our sister network. And if you're not sure where to find Fox Business Network in your area, you can just log on to foxbusiness.com channel finder. A lot of people said, well, Neil, I've tried that. And a lot of them, they, they don't, it doesn't play in my area. Here's what you do. You go to your cable operator's house. We have their addresses, too. Yes. And I love we, it. This and is where we got to get numbers. Gasparino. Yeah. We have He's ways. a menace. We have yeah. ways. You just go. Step two, first channel finder. Step two is Gasparina. All right, <laughs> Ms. Francis, Thank always you. good seeing you. In the meantime, yes. from YouTube to RTube, the man who's stunning delivery has this guy thinking, you know, th this Rev, well, well, he, he's going down the tube.